But the Institute says even worse than the Previa is this brand new design from General Motors, the Pontiac Transport. Looks like massive amounts of intrusion. We've got the chin of the dummy on the steering wheel, which isn't good. The wheel is under the chin. See the steering wheel rim here? The slow motion film shows the dummy's head snapping back. The structure of the vehicle just collapses. It's obvious from his head motion that it's hit the steering wheel. General Motors says this is one of the few vans in which the seam welds, which hold sections of the car together, didn't separate. But the Institute says the floor has been rammed back as much as 19 inches. That's more than any other van. The dummy's left leg is trapped. It's not even budging. It won't come free Jeez. even with a crowbar. It's not moving, is it? Technicians finally take the dummy apart at the knee just to get it out. But there's a problem. One of the speed readings for this test is too high. I got 41.4. It's only a mile and a half over test speed at the most, but the damage is so severe the Institute decides it must do the test again. This is another transport. This time, the speed readings are perfect. But the damage is similar. Massive structural collapse. The dummy's left leg is trapped again. Well, this is really bad because the ankle is actually detached from the foot. I believe that's completely snapped off. So. The loads on the dummy have been such that the metal leg, this is not a bone leg, this metal leg has snapped off. And on the slow motion film, watch carefully. What this crash illustrates is that when the compartment fails completely, as it's done here, and is collapsing all around you, the restraint systems can't offer much protection. O'Neill says the head snaps back. The survival space collapses so much that the steering wheel is driven right through the airbag into the dummy. This time, the injury readings are even more serious. A major injury to the neck, to the cervical region. Is it possible that the person in this crash might have been killed? Well, we can never say for certain, just based on dummy measurements, but the forces were certainly high enough that the injuries could have produced a fatal injury. General Motors declined to talk about this test on camera. But in a letter, GM said to assure overall safety at a variety of speeds, it ran 72 crash tests on its minivan, including an offset test at 35 miles an hour. GM wrote, the minivan performed very well, but declined Dateline's request to release pictures of the test or the specific results. <laughs> That's the front crash test the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety uses to rate the Chevrolet Venture. I'm Jeff Bartlett with Consumer Reports. Now let's look at this test in slow motion. The test was actually done on the Pontiac Transport, but the results apply to the Chevrolet Venture. You can see the crash badly damages the passenger compartment. The floor buckles and the seat tilts forward. After the dummy moves into the airbag, the neck snaps rearward as the steering wheel intrudes. Then the dummy's head is hit by the seat back and head restraint. As you can see, the forces on the driver are devastating. There is a likelihood of neck injury as well as injury to both of the lower legs.
Toyota Sienna did better overall in Insurance Institute crash tests than any other vehicle tested, ever.